news. Welcome to the news. News. Indeed. This just indeed. in. We couldn't hear the intro. Yeah, I, I, because I forgot to switch uh, to the blue microphone or to the to the proper cord for you guys. But you don't need to hear it. They'll hear it. That's all that's important. Our well, audience gets to hear. It. I did. I did let you see. I need this. Hi. Why are you so mean? To me? Anyway, welcome. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> hey, there's some really <laughs> bad news today. <laughs> welcome to Combi News for the week commencing the 22nd of January, 2023, 1984. Um, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am Nathan. <laughs> Uh, I am joined, as always, by Zeno and Smet, and this time we have a special guest, Thalian. Thank you for filling in, Thalian. Uh, shall we Shall we get into it, boys? Do it. Absolutely. Right, so, our first story, Bandai Namco is suing a former employee. Wait. Oh, news. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's not even the right page. Oh, my gosh, Zeno. <laughs> I want to just keep going. Let it keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> hey, keep going. we found it. Why was I looking up oil rigs? You'll never know. Um, it's like, what have I gotten is it, into? Is it, is it because your name is secretly Derek? <laughs> yes. Yes. Sure. Bandai Namco is suing former, a former employee of a very industrious alleged th uh, threat? Theft. Theft. Not threat. Uh, the company yes. claims that between April 2015 and April 20, uh, 2022, the employee embezzled and sold 4,400 company-issued smartphones worth 600 million yen, or about 4,000, 4.65 million U.S. dollars. Assume uh, they first, yes, yeah, totally, yeah. Uh, they first noticed a discrepancy in the number of phones issued and the phones actually in use in November 2021, and finally fired the employee over a year later in December uh, 2022. Bandai Namco Entertainment's executives will also take pay cuts between 10 and 30% over the next three months as a way to take responsibility. I like that. Crikey. I like well, that, that's too. That's actually a thing, yes. You know, it's like, I, okay, I, let's, let's, let's be honest here, right? So these these uh, top brass, that they, they are going to feel that, but not to the point of it's going to destroy their lifestyle. And it's not a small number either. The fact that it's a percentage is actually quite healthy. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. I agree. If uh, more right, executives would take that type of, uh, if, if more executives would take that kind of uh, cut to them, uh, themselves when they actually had something to yeah. apologize for, then yeah, uh, yeah. Well, and and I like that they didn't try to put it off on anyone else. Like they, it went right to the top of the executives. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, so Thalian, would you like to take our second story? Sure. Uh, this is a story for Amazon lays off Comixology staff. Uh, Amazon has all but eliminated its Comixology department, starting with 18,000 immediate layoffs, or about 75% of the employees. Uh, more will follow in June, and the final group will stay until October. According to the retail CEO, Doug Harrington, these layoffs are part of a wider effort to lower Amazon's cost to serve. Whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, that's some, that's I, some, that's I, some I, business I'm, speak right I'm there. Starting, I'm starting to uh, smell something there. Uh, that includes uh, layoffs in the Alexa, retail, and human resources divisions. Amazon purchased Comixology in 2014, but only integrated it into its Kindle service in February 2022. A year ago. Yeah. Uh, it includes publications from Kodansha, USA, Dark Horse, Viz Media, and more. Which... I feel that that, wow. 20, that 2022 thing, like, that must be the backwards compatibility because I've been buying manga off of Amazon for years and reading it on Comixology. Yeah. So... You mean on Kindle? No, 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 no. On Comics. So Comixology has an app. That allows you to actually yeah. read it. Ah, right. Okay, it's the yeah. integration yeah, into the it's Kindle. Yeah, the integration app, into Kindle. Yeah. 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 That's. Which, this is this is smacking of like uh, Google strategy. Yeah. Yeah. And anything that hasn't been doesn't seem to be going quite as well as it was projected to go. Especially so, I mean, if it's you know, their one fault. year after it is gone. <laughs> yeah. 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 We need the Amazon graveyard, except well, that might actually include real people. Oof. 
Okay, moving on to the next story. Fans of One Piece and fitness... Fa whoa, whoa, do those two things actually go... To okay, fans of you One Piece and think. fitness have a new home at a gym that's just opened in Shibuya Ward named One Piece Fitness Bragman? Bragman, I, yep. Okay. The gym's name is referenced to a book titled Bragman spoken um, about in the manga's 13th compiled volume um, and the interior includes such delights as barbells shaped like meat. I'm now hungry again. Um, <laughs> a weight vest uh, with the red hair shanks pirate flag. Um, a group training studio themed like a pirate deck. Class names uh, like Great Pirate Dance Series and Projector Combat ha um, Haki. Haki? Yeah. yeah. Staff and coaches dressed like sailors, a pirate rank system with goals and prizes, a pirate school for middle schoolers, and a cafe. I, I think this I is the this only picture we absolute... have. Oh no, we do have another picture. I see this as an absolute win. What the hell? That's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, only in Japan, at, though, right? Look at that barbell. Look at oh, it. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you, yeah. Is there an enhance? Can we enhance? I can I can open it in a new tab, but I don't think it's actually going to get any bigger. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. shame. That's about as big as look we can get that. it. That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they had a, a lot of the voice weights. actors uh, there to celebrate it as well, it, it, uh, the opening. Um, the voice actors cool. took turns uh, lifting them and were very impressed. <laughs> I mean, uh, anybody say, who feelings? wants yeah. to be anyone who wants to be like Zoro is 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 going to be lifting weights anyway because yeah. the man lifts weights that are <laughs> bigger across than he is tall. Yeah. Um, uh, right on to the next story, which is a oh, that's on to the next story, which is a little bit little bit sad. Uh, singer. Ayer, Ayer Owie announced she will have to go on a long-term hiatus due to treatment and recovery for an ongoing disease. She struggled off and on with an undisclosed illness at least as far back as 2016, uh, and you might know her from so uh, songs in such shows as Fate Zero's ending theme and the intros for Kill a Kill, Sword Art Online, and a couple of cuckoos. Oh, so, damn. Yeah, I know. Uh, definitely oh, okay. wish her all the best. They don't say what the illness is. Like I said, um, I don't want to pry, so, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll just presume it's not Ligma, because you would have died by now. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no yeah. Thagian, no. Uh, uh, but yeah, she's she's gone off and on just, yeah, for years. Poor, poor, poor person. Yeah. Right. Thalian. So, story five today is the Tales of Symphonia anime streams with subtitles on YouTube. Uh, to celebrate the upcoming release of the, of the Tales of Symphonia RPG remaster, Bandai Namco started streaming the first episode of the OVA Tales of Symphonia the Animation uh, on YouTube. Their Twitter account also stated they'll be releasing all 11 episodes, with a new one added every Wednesday. Uh, the episodes are in Japanese, but come with subtitles in English, Spanish, French, and Italian. Nice. I, I like this move that a lot of companies are doing of putting anime on their YouTube channels. I think that's mm, that's a really exactly. good... Oh, especially really Gundam. Nice Gundam was just such a, you know, yeah. kind of left field thing. But no, it's, it's funny, I've seen this trend quite a lot recently with uh, new released shows. They put, like, the first episode... The first episode, yeah. ...onto YouTube. Mm. Uh, recently, the one, you know, the one that surprised me was uh, Mystery of Aravos for the, um, uh, the Netflix series. Uh, right. What's, what's the uh, show? Not a clue. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm really right. forgetting. The uh, it's just they put the first episode up on YouTube literally days before the series released in full on Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah, Strange. yeah. It helps drives up um, hmm. interest. Anyway, shall we move on? Yes. Oh, this one, Zeno. <laughs> okay, okay. Japan loves Initial D to the point that its iconic Toyota A86 has received model upgrades in the past, but now it's receiving an eco-friendly upgrade as part of Japan's goal for a carbon-neutral society. Toyota revealed two concept versions, uh, one with an electric, sorry, one with an electric one, 
Sorry, I think that's supposed to be an electric motor. Okay, mm -hmm. one with an electric motor or engine, uh, which replaces the original powertrain for a motor, probably a motor then, electric motor, um, and one uh, that uses hydrogen combustion, which simply swaps one combustion engine for another. Um, interesting, because I thought cold fusion was still a little way off. I'm joking. <laughs> this is actually part of an attempt by company president Akio Toyo um, Toyoda. Yes, his, his name is not Toyota with, with a, a D, not Toyota with an A, or the T. Um, mm -hmm. There's a joke there somewhere. No, I'm just thinking Toy Yoda. I don't know why, it's just in my head. <laughs> uh, sorry. The, the car manufacturer he is. This is actually part of an attempt by company president Akio Toyota um, to prove that even older cars can be converted into eco-friendly um, with both cars are made from parts readily available on the market rather than cutting edge technology nice yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's honestly pretty cool like the eco-friendly because because that's always been one of the big problems is making new eco-friendly cars is almost worse for the environment in some ways but if you can take an existing a... car and just replace some bits of it that's mm. not so bad i i saw a uh there's an upcoming breakthrough in batteries uh, mm. So that they, there's a, we've been relying on lithium-ion batteries for a while, uh, but apparently, if you can use the right electrolyte on it, so that the, the right materials, you can make a sodium ion. Which, yes, I've heard about that. Yeah, uh, yeah, which is sodium's so easy to come by in the world, whereas mm. lithium isn't. Mm. You know, so we'd have efficient batteries for this kind of thing from all over. There's a lot of really cool stuff in the works like that. Mm. And yet they uh, still be more expensive than lithium. Uh, just for a very quick view of the cars. Uh, so I believe... I, I believe this is the gas version. I'm sorry, not the gas version. The electric version. And this is the um, the other one. But I'm not sure. I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Combustion. Anyway... Let's move on. Oh, uh, more NFT scandals. The Chinese oh, developer Hypergraph sent a cease and desist letter to the NFT platform Oldius, claiming Oldius has infringed their Arknights copyright. Now, to be clear, cease and desist letters aren't actually legally binding in any way. It's just a, look, you better stop or oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get our lawyers involved. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's fans a immediately way of saying stop. Yes. Uh, oh, I think they. Oh no! It's because I'm not logged in on this because I'm in a, uh, a. Incognito. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's also not what I was looking for. That's the statement they had. The actual trailer. Ah, is it this one? Yes, I think this has the actual. Yes, the actual trailer comparison. Uh, let me mute that and make it full screen. And interesting. I mean, oh, I mean, well, I mean, okay. wow. I mean, there is a, <laughs> I mean, a distinct. <laughs> why, why does it feel like someone kind of leaned over and said, hey, can I borrow your homework? Yeah. yeah but change it up a bit so it doesn't quite look the same. But nobody knows you did it. Um, so. Uh, where was I? Fans noticed a similarity between the tra trailer posted by Oldius on January 5th and the cutscene in the Arcanites game. Oldius describes itself as a web, quote, quote unquote, Web 3 brand shaping the next generation of manga. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Hypergraph says that Oldius, Oldius claims it had Arcanite staff working on the project and that it is in contact with Hypergraph to resolve the issue. Hypergraph denies both claims. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. It, it's really interesting to see somebody ripping off Chinese content as opposed to the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh Thalian. You get to have the best <laughs> news. Hey, look at this. Oh, Attack on Titan, the final season, part three, anime conclusion, to air in two parts, with the first part starting on March 3rd. 
NHK announced that the Attack on Titan, the final season, part three, will air in two parts, with the first part airing March 4th at 12.25 a.m. Yeah, they say March 3rd in the story, but it's at like 24, 25. Oh, yeah, they say effectively March. They do actually add that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so effectively March March 12th. Yes. Uh, The second part coming later in 2023. No confirmation on the length of each part but the March 3rd airing is listed as a special broadcast, hinting that each part might be an anime special instead of multiple episodes. <laughs> a special seven-part compilation anime will air on NHK for three consecutive nights, starting February 25th. <laughs> Those monsters. Just, just, uh, just uh, I just... It's that, oh. that meme with them just cutting the pizza and cutting it thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner yeah. and thinner. And... I mean, Every time they do, I laugh. I mean, I gotta ask the question at this point in time: Does anyone still enjoy Attack on Titan? I'm hate watching it at this point. I've got to see wow. how it ends. Got wow. to see how it ends. I, I, wow. I've completely ignored it since the uh, good uh, just right. season two and a half, which is about <laughs> when it, when it stopped being good. Yep. Okay. Yep. Final uh, story, Zeno, take us away. Well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that set in a second, Nazareth. Um, so, during a special event, Saturday, Kodakawa announced a sequel to Main and Abyss, The Golden City of the Scorched Sun. Since this is the very first announcement, we don't have any further details yet. Even the teaser trailer essentially just reminds us of where the, uh, we are in the story and the long journey we um, to get here. But since Nazareth actually finished season two, He'll be keeping a close <laughs> eye on this, you son of a bitch, right? <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna rag on you. I was just gonna get you to pause. But now I'm just gonna rag on you. Nazareth, where's the other story? What where's the, story? the one I linked to you last night? Uh. Yeah, that one. Uh, oh shoot. Well, um, I guess that'll be. Let me hang on. Let me just. Let me just quickly uh, open that in a new tab, and uh, here we go. So, near Automata version one point one. It's totally, totally, totally seamless. Uh, version one point one a a anime delays episode four and beyond due to COVID nineteen. The official website for Near Automata version 1.1 Alpha, the television anime of Square Enix's and Platinum Games' Near Automata action role-playing game, announced on Sunday that the anime's episodes 4 and beyond have been delayed. Uh, Impact of COVID-19... Instead, the anime will instead air the first three episodes again starting on January 28th. The anime's website and Twitter account will announce the broadcast and streaming schedule of episode 4 and beyond in the near future. That is a damn shame. Yep, this was uh, three I episodes think I started in. Hyperventilating. After, yeah, this this was announced right after we recorded um, the reviews. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, yeah, and uh, I was I was just gonna get you to pause, and then like you know, hey Nazareth, do you wanna? Add that story that you missed, and then ah, completely well, you, course, no, you, you completely called me this. out. So yeah, I'm gonna call you yeah. out. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for the news, and I take it. I believe I believe that is yes. it for the news. Thank you so much again for joining us, Dalian. It was a pleasure a helping problem. us out. Um, yes, and once once uh, Loz can uh, reintegrate his kidneys into his own body again, uh, we should be good. I mean, it's not his kidneys, but regardless of that, one, no, we I know it's somebody, not. Come on, we need to somebody I'm else's kidneys this, into his body. I'm, I'm trying to get it even weirder as we go along. The longer Loz more? can go, yeah, the, the more time However, Loz goes away, the just, worse just a, these things will get. Just, just to, to highlight, don't forget, we are streaming the charity stream this coming uh, Saturday, two days after Campai Cast comes out. And um, what's it called? We're going to be doing That's... it for a good cause. 24 hours. Hmm. Um, I don't think you can actually bring it up, Nazareth. Yeah, I don't so, think I, mean, I can either. That's a shame. Oh, well. So, yeah, um, it's going to be good fun. We're going to have laughs all good for a good cause. Lots of guests. Yes, special guests dropping in all the time. And uh, we can even see how many people we can get to troll Zeno on the way. Now, uh, first first person to drop Fia's panties for him to get him banned. That'd be fantastic. Oh, I, I don't know what that means, but all I know is I need to go buy some pineapple. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. And we shall see you next time on the news. Hi, everyone. The news. <laughs> <laughs>